at the doll circle and today we're opening probably my favorite out of the line the one that I originally wasn't expecting to like and as soon as I saw her I fell in love it's Briar Beauty which is the daughter of Sleeping Beauty and this is from the Spring and Sprung line and they are available at Toys R Us for $24.99 some people said they also found it at Target I haven't seen it there yet but check out both and I'll start off by showing you guys the box first I am in love with the box I love that it has the Spring and Sprung logo here the cool lamp down and down the side and then the Erector High logo here. I like how it has like, if you can see behind the box, the flooring, everything kind of like the color scheme goes with the doll very, very well. So it has a lot of black and white with pops of color. And of course, Barbie is gonna have pops of pink in it. And then the side of the box is gonna have her picture design here. And of course, more pink lines to pop with her. I love the overall layout of this box. Really, 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 really gorgeous. And here's the spine of the book, or the end of the box. Again, a little line of pink going on to match her. And my favorite thing, which is the back of the box, has her in sketch form and her in regular. And if you guys have seen any of the other reviews, you'll definitely know that I'm in love with this and I really hope this is Mattel, Mattel's basic design of her and then it became this. Because <laughs> that is so cute and she's so pretty. And it says pink had to be painted. And of course it says, you know, watercolor fading like tea on petals. And like, just really a lot of very rose themed wording. And the other dolls that are in this line is Holly, Cerise, and Cedar. So make sure to check out all of my reviews of the other dolls. I'm probably going to give in and eventually get Holly. I know a lot of people were like, why'd you only buy three so far? Well, I'm probably going to get her. She's actually really pretty and since I'm getting all three, I might as well get all of the whole set. So definitely when you guys are out shopping, there are four in this line, so make sure to go look for her. And like I said, her pink and the blue, I cannot wait to get her out of the box. <laughs> she looks absolutely stunning. And I actually don't have a briar out of the box, so I'm really excited to get her out and actually have one of her to display out. So let's open it and then we'll be right back. I got her out of the box and definitely my favorite piece of her is going to definitely be her makeup and her hair. So I'll start from the top and work my way down. Just like the other ones, they do have a flower crown at the top and her theme is going to be roses and of course it's pink because it's briar. It's going to have pink at the top with little like silver and white accents in it. And it is banded in, you can't remove it but I'm probably going to leave it in just so it doesn't fall or get lost. And then in the front, she has these cute little uh, cascading curls going down the front, which is going to be a beautiful teal blue and a super, like, bright pink. Awesome color scheme. I love it. It really makes the doll's face pop out on it, and I love, love, love the way it looks on her. Now, the back of her hair is going to be half up, and it's going to have, like, a chestnut color. So here, I'll slowly turn around so you guys can appreciate this beautiful color back here. I love this hair color. It's really soft, not a lot of product in it. So if you're really good at curling hair, you can. I love that shade. I would love to see if I could pull off that pink and teal on this doll, like it's so beautiful. And then turning her back to the front, the eyeshadow is blue and it does match the blue that's in her hair and she has beautiful hazelnut eyes and then a very deep, deep lipstick. It's almost like it's in between a purple and red color. Um, I don't want to say plum, but just really, really deep. I love it. It goes so well with her face. Now, the other one of the dolls have like, like shoulder pad looking accessories. This one has a beautiful neck piece accessory going in the front. It's a deep pink, same color as her crown. It is removable in the back, has like a little like push uh, snap back there. Uh, the dress does go to her elbows, and then it's all gonna be beautiful black and white and like kind of pink cup tones to it with roses on it. It's gonna have this cool like puff style on it that it gives it that little like poofiness to it so it kind of sticks out a little bit and then the white skirt underneath is going to have black vines and I think it's all part of the same dress yeah so this is all like one dress piece now c continuing the high low style of the other dresses in the line this one's going to have a short all the way around but with a train and the train is the same similar style fabric as that but sheer so I'm going to put my hand in it so you can see it it's going to have the rose design on it I really like that. I like how they give it a little different. I like the white pop here. And it does have leggings here, just like the other girls do. And they're gonna be black going up into the pink color, so an ombre style. Her shoes are gonna have black vines going up to go with the rose theme. Pink roses in the front. And this one, instead of having a wedge, I'll show you so you guys can see it, it has a spiked heel. Gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. They need to be real shoes so I can wear them. <laughs> And then with her accessories that she's wearing, I'll go up back up here. Pink and black purse with pink roses on it. 
And instead of a single ring, this is gonna be more like the basic Raven had, which was like a bracelet with a ring attached to it. So less chance of actually losing the ring because it's all one piece. And for earrings, she has, let's see, silver roses. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Hopefully it can. So beautiful coloring on this doll. I love the pop of blue and on her face and her hair. I'm sad there's not more pops of blue in the dress. I feel like that would've been a really good little added detail to have, but overall I still love her. Now accessories that she comes with is gonna be, of course, a brush, silver key, very basic, does include a stand, which is gonna be silver and clear. And then just like the other dolls in this, here I'll show you the ring. This one's gonna actually be a rose butt, or a regular rose, with a vine on it. All the dolls in this line does include these cute little rings that have matching flowers to their dresses. Is Briar a uh, royal? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's weird. Why? She has a silver stand. Yeah, so that's another thing too I'll mention with you guys. Uh, if you guys watched my Cedar review, Cedar comes with a gold stand and Briar comes with a silver. Traditionally, I thought that the Rebels had silver stands and Royals had gold stands. So here's the other girls, so you guys can see all of them together. So I thought that was kind of interesting how they did that. Just like the other dolls in this line, they also include a map of the Spring, uh, the Spring Fair, or they call it the Spring Fairest. So yeah, I'll show you guys this. <laughs> Same as the other maps that the other dolls come with, but I still wanted to share it with you. And on the other side of this, it has this year's annual Spring Fairest lineup, which has all of the uh, people that will be performing during the spring show, and I'll show that to you guys. And then of course here to the side, a little story about Briar. And it looks like a little bookmark, which Chase said was a bookmark, and I said no, and I think it does look like a bookmark. He's right. <laughs> Giving him credit where it's due, so I'll show you guys the front with the rose on the front of it to match her. All the dolls come with one of these. So comment below, what do you guys think of Briar? And what is your doll favorite so far from the Spring Unsprung line? I love her hair and her makeup. <laughs> That's my favorite piece off this doll. I really, really like her. Again, she wasn't my initial favorite, but after having her out, it's probably a tie between her and probably like Cerise. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, always check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, of course, called The Doll Circle, where we're always letting you guys and updating you guys on toy reads that we do, toy hunts, and other stuff. And make sure to subscribe because we post a video every day. So let me know what you guys think. I love these dolls. Bye.